The acrid smoke of a snuffed out candle. The sensual pleasure of food. Smells surround us with an invisible haze. They can waken deep memories and even attract us to the opposite sex. Explore the senses of taste and smell next on Body Atlas. Like every other living creature, you are surrounded by smells. They influence the way you think, how you feel, and how you react. The nose, in all its glorious shapes and sizes, is the gateway to this extraordinary realm of sensation. It starts in the air around us, which literally smokes with invisible scent molecules. The nose feeds this information directly to the brain. That's great. For Anna and Tom, smell has the power to make or break their evening. It's an unconscious undercurrent beneath the niceties of their civilized dinner. Smell will give them an appetite and define the flavors of their meal. And the very smells their bodies produce will affect how they react to each other. Smell is the most primitive of the senses. It's a simple chemical reaction to the environment. Yet it puts us in contact with a world of information. If we could see smells, the air around us would literally smoke. An invisible vapor of scent molecules fills the air with particles carrying aroma. They bounce and crash into us. And once we draw them into our noses, the brain interprets them as smells. 5% of this sniff of air goes to the top of the nose, directly under the brain. Here, folds of moist flesh warm the passing air. The vapor flows through a jungle of nasal passages to a region packed with nerve endings, a mere quarter of an inch from the brain. Smell molecules dissolve in mucus and are trapped by hairy receptors. Hugely magnified, this region resembles a coral reef. Five million smell cells are crammed into an area the size of a postage stamp. With feelers outstretched, receptors wait to grab a molecule. Smell is determined by the shape of the molecule. Different shapes are perceived as different smells. When a smell cell reacts, it shoots an electronic signal through a thin layer of bone straight into the brain. No other sense is so immediate. Aroma molecules come in an almost endless variety. The scent of good cooking signals what's safe to eat and what's not. They can warn us of danger. Whether it's the fragrance of roses on a summer day or the stench of garbage rotting in the sun, a few molecules are all that's needed to trigger a response.
Our sensitive nose is designed to sniff out odors, and it's placed to fulfill another important role. It's the main organ involved in taste. We use all our senses to enjoy our food. The sight and smell of a shiny red strawberry makes your mouth water. If it's underripe, you hear a crunch. A slithery feel in the mouth tells you it's overripe. Just the sight of this strawberry would make you think twice. Anna and Tom aren't having any problem with the look, the feel, or the sound of this meal. Eating is a feast for all the senses, but taste and smell predominate. Each of these foods contains dozens of molecules that make up its unique flavor. The moment food enters the mouth, our tongue and teeth take it on a roller coaster ride. They break up the food so it's easy to digest. The tongue is the powerhouse of this attraction as it tosses the food from side to side. After the food is well crushed, the tongue forms it into a compact ball for swallowing. As Tom chews, his senses determine whether the food is safe to eat. Hidden beneath the tongue's rough surface is a battery of sensors. They tell us whether food is hot or cold. They sample its texture and report back on its taste. Under the microscope, the secret world of the tongue appears. Taste, like smell, is a chemical sense. Here, a single taste bud lurks, waiting to capture flavor molecules. The taste buds in this tongue are busy sampling sugar crystals. Each part of the tongue has a specific job. It can detect only four different flavors. Bitter at the back, sour at the side, salty at the front, sweet at the tip. Since only the tip of the tongue is sensitive to sweetness, Ice cream takes on an extra tang when licked, but only for a while. Cold foods numb the taste buds, and the flavor disappears. <laughs> 